morning, folks. It's gonna be a cloudy, gloomy day, but we're gonna get some good work done. Started with pressure washing the tractor. That's getting ceramic coated tomorrow. Right now, Dad and I are going out west. We're gonna split off the calves at my pasture, my 29 pairs, and Dad has 20 over there right across the road. So we're gonna start with his, bring him home. Roll out. Now as we're getting these calves up today, take a moment and really look at them. This pasture is some of the most beautiful bull calves I've ever seen. All 20 cows have a bull calf at the side. They're all big, pretty exciting to watch. Big dude. heavy gate. Found these trees floating down a river and they must have chopped them up made a gate.
manure exfoliates. My wife pays a lot of money for stuff like that. I'm lucky. Those 20 are worked and they're headed with the rest of the group that we did yesterday. Then we're gonna run through store of the station, get some lunch, and go grab my 29 pair, bring them here, work them, and then we're gonna put them in that pan. We're already set up with hay and water and they're ready to go. Let's go. That's it. Look at those big guys. We're just gonna hop across the road and fold this beast out again. So we're gonna use the small rock as a ramp over the top of the big rock. Uh, yeah. Alright, a month ago we were here giving first rounds of shots to the calves and it was a rodeo getting them up in here. We had to shut it, push them all deep in, open it back up to get the stragglers that we couldn't catch. Hopefully it goes a lot better today. We got a gift. Yeah, the fog's lifted just enough we can see more than two feet in front of our nose for a bit. So. Here we go. I always forget I have two Herefords in the bunch. I'm like, whose cattle are those? Oh yeah, we brought two of them out here. Last one there is a rotten egg. <laughs> or freezer meat.
one calf. It says it right in the Bible. If you're having a hard time catching fish, try casting on the other side. And it's so true in cattle. We were kind of at a standstill at one side, then we started pulling cows from this side. Didn't go too bad. All right, and there's my crop for the year. All, all right there. Nice tight group. Whole 29 ahead. Yes, sir. Cows and calves are so loud when you're weaning them that you can you can feel it. Okay. Well, that's the song of the day. Glad you mentioned it. The song of the day today is by Quiet Riot, and it's called "Come On, Feel the Noise." Song of the day. Got it. Last two days, all the cattle weaned. Well, yesterday we got just short of a hundred weaned. Today, only 50. But that's what. 30 minutes of travel one way will get you when you got to go out there four different three three different times. Yesterday we moved some cows off a spot 
their water tank is full and I don't want it to freeze solid because that can be uh, hard on the water tank. So I got a little piece of hose back here. We're gonna siphon it out. This water is very cold. Giants. You know, a lot of people would say, I bet the stench is unbearable, but I smell more corn than anything, I don't know. It, you do? It takes a certain consistency or flavor of manure that really stinks. Some of it really does smell, but... I can't smell the stench for all the poop smell. This, I don't know what that means. I mean, I don't smell no stench, all I smell is poop. Thanks for watching everybody. Love to see you next time. Have a good one.